Hey! Good fish. 13th of January, 2019. Man, time flies. There's a million things I want to share with you. I just wish I could get on here more often, but this really kind of set me off this morning when I saw this, and, and where it led me is very interesting. It, it's about Martin Luther King, and Martin Luther King Day is coming up on the 21st of January, which is interesting. You know, if you, if you see the links that, I, that I've that i been shown here uh, in relation to the 21st with everything else that's occurring, it's pretty pretty wild, really. But, you know, I think of a few things when I see the MLK. I mean, I think of Martin Luther, of course, in the Reformation, okay? He nailed the 95 Thesis to the Church of, of, of All Saints <laughs> on Halloween, basically. All Saints Eve. Uh, but that's that's another road we could get down. I think of that 500 years ago, and I also think of um, the Pope and Trump meeting. And the reason I think of that is because when, when Trump went to meet the Pope in 2017, May 24th, the gifts that he gave him were Martin Luther King Jr. All of his writings in this giant book, as well as a stone from the Martin Luther King um, Monument, uh, called the the stone of hope okay that's what it's called he gave him a piece of the, the stone from that as well so it was all martin luther king jr stuff as well as the lotus I can't forget the lotus but the martin luther king jr stuff and he gave it to him during the year of the 500 year celebration of the reformation with martin luther and i found that to be really strange okay but the main thing i just want to show you is this connection from uh, Trump's visit to the Pope, the Martin Luther and Martin Luther King Day on the 21st is very strange and very worthy of, of looking into, let's say. Um, so I put that date in and it's 607 days. And I remember in my studies uh, that there was a, a lot of contention and probably still is amongst... Uh, these churches, right, like the Jehovah Witnesses or Watchtower, and, and how so many claim that the temple, the destruction of Jerusalem happened in 607 B.C. as opposed to 587 B.C. And I don't know why that matters, but just the, the fact that I got that same exact number struck me as strange. And it's also a 13, this rebellion these fallen ones that have been creating havoc throughout the ages, basically. Okay, so that that's kind of how I saw that. The destruction of Jerusalem, but also is very interesting. Look at look at the Strong's for 607. It's it's literally in the Greek to decapitate, to behead. Seriously. It's from 575, which denotes departure, cessation, completion, reversal to decapitate, behead, after he was at the Vatican with the Pope and they all were dressed for a funeral. I mean, seriously. And the Lotus, the rebirth, the representation, and, and its relationship to um, this I pet goat when it shows this apple at his feet that splits in two. This is so symbolic. But the Lotus that comes from the two, the two become one, okay? Now, the 607, the decapitation, okay, and then you take into account the church being split in two, okay, in this Economist magazine of 2017. That's just the way it is, and there's the 95 thesis nailed to the church, and the church is being cut in two. I beheld lightning from heaven, and all the communists, all the division the wall, all of these things going on. It's a, a separation, a division. Uh, uh, it's just the way it is. It's occurring. And, in, and it's coming to a point where you're, you're not going to really be able to have the wherewithal to sit quietly and, and contemplate these things. The things that are coming on the earth are going to come whether you're in Christ or not. And if you're not, it's not going to bode well for you. Do not take a mark of a beast when this occurs, because it's going to occur. This separation is upon us. 
And it's odd that Martin Luther King Jr. Day falls on the 21st of January. And as usual, there are a million other things that go along with this. And it, and it leads to so many unbelievable places that I'm, I'm honestly going to try so hard to get to. How this relates directly to Solomon and the, all of it. It's unbelievable. It truly is. But the time is upon us. If you don't know Christ, you need to get to know him. That's all I can really relate to you. He is the truth. He's the life. He's the way. He's the door. He's the gate. He broke down the wall. You see what I'm saying? In this world, in the flesh, the walls are going up higher and higher and higher. And it's getting more hatred and hatred and hatred. But in the spiritual realm, God is calling you. He's pouring out his spirit to come to him through his son, Jesus. And he's separating us spiritually from this world. Praise God. Praise Jesus. So that's what you need to do. Because this is just very strange. 607 days after the Pope visit for the funeral there. And that means decapitation. And Jerusalem was potentially destroyed in that year. Which reminds me, this is another interesting tidbit that I'm not going to get into it now. But it does relate to the death card. And how that plays into where we are right now. This really, truly comes into play, literally, in what I'm going to show you uh, in the next one, okay? I hope you're all doing well. Peace and grace to each and every one of you. Seek Jesus today. Benny Fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 